Got another little Bluetooth module to show you. This one's worth about three bucks from IC Station. It gives you line level or headphone level outputs from your Bluetooth device. It operates from 3.7 to 5 volts. Very simple to interface. Here it is. I have another Bluetooth board. This is called the XYBT Mini. As you can see, it measures about one inch square. Very simple design. This is designed to allow you to add Bluetooth to an existing system. Features a 3.5 millimeter stereo line out, but you can also directly connect to the right ground and left outputs and it's powered up either directly from 3 to 5 volts, but you can power it up with, uh, I'll have to look up the specs on that. We'll put it on the screen. I'll look up the specs and we'll put it on the screen. But it can be powered up directly from a USB power source, which is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to plug it in. And we just plug the board in. This is going to be a really short video because really there's not a heck of a lot to see on this. You get the three tones to tell you that it's ready to pair. So once we've got the unit ready for pairing, I'll go down to my Bluetooth device and I will look for the device. It's called XYBT. We'll select it. And now we are successfully paired. So then I can go into my music player. This is my royalty free music on here so I can just uh, select play. Control the Bluetooth volume from the device. There are, are no buttons on this unit at all. This is strictly so. This is strictly a Bluetooth device that's designed for building into other devices or connecting to uh, auxiliary input on your sound system to add Bluetooth capabilities to a receiver or boom box or anything else. We'll see some video in the future where I build this into a boom box. I may put this one into my old CFS 6000 or something else that I have, but this one, this, this um, the module will make another appearance in another video at a future date. I'm just showing off the actual module uh, today. We'll put the specs up in the description and uh, and put the voltage range and so forth on it. But as you can see, you can power it up with a power supply or by a USB type plug. So something like this would be ideal to operate off battery, for example. Great for making your own Bluetooth speaker into an external amplifier. Now, in case you're wondering, does this unit have enough power to power headphones directly? Yes, it does. I've plugged headphones into it now. We'll turn up the Bluetooth volume. And as you can hear, from the headphones, it uh, provides plenty of volume. Be kind of overkill on these headphones because these particular headphones I've got here, of course, these are Bluetooth headphones. But you could connect this module to any pair of headphones and turn any wired pair of headphones into a Bluetooth type headphones and power it up either using a USB uh, power pack or just a standard. A battery like this 18650 would power this up no problem anyway uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this there's not a heck of a lot to show you on this video we'll test it for a range I'm just gonna go take a walk and we'll see how far this thing works before cutting out okay I'm gonna go take a walk across the street and we'll see how far I get got approximately 25 meters from where the Bluetooth receiver is currently located to where it cut out. 
So I made it all the way out from my workshop, all the way out across the street and into the neighbor's driveway. It's dark now, so I can't really show you that because you're not going to see anything. But uh, I made it across the street, as you can probably tell from how long it took me to get there and get back. About uh, 25 meters. Range on them, they rate them only as 10, but it's doing a lot better than that. Okay, here's one problem I've noticed with this little board right off the bat. If we look at the USB power connector, you'll notice that it, the tabs are not soldered down here properly on the side. So we're going to fix that. I'm going to solder this down properly so that it's tight, so that it's not going to, uh, you can see right there, that they've missed those tabs. So I'm going to solder those down um, and then it'll prevent that from coming loose. Not that I'm planning on using this because when I build it into whatever it goes into, I'm going to be feeding it with external power anyway. But uh, I'm going to just make sure that that's tacked down. So just waiting for my soldering iron to heat up. And then we'll go about and fix that. There. That will prevent that connector from coming loose. There, now it's on nice and tight. I just noticed that when I was moving it around with the uh, USB cord because this is quite a heavy cord that it was uh, coming a bit loose. So that's it. Now it's on nice and solid. So if you get one of these here you might want to just double check that the uh, terminals are soldered down nicely. These ones look to be, maybe I can rework these ones too. Looks like they might need to uh, have a bit of rework done on them as well. Which is quite often the case when you get uh, uh, units that are assembled, like you know the, uh, these are surface mounted parts and they, they fold them through an oven and sometimes the uh, larger components don't get tacked down as well and need to go over them manually. So I'll just redo these ones here. There. That should solve that problem. We'll just plug it in and make sure everything's still working. Sounds like it's working to me. There it is, the XYBT Mini Bluetooth Receiver from IC Station. Link is in the description. Looks like a nice little unit. Hey, it's a Bluetooth board, right? It receives signals from your Bluetooth devices. And it's a great way to add Bluetooth capability to older equipment that didn't have it, such as portable radios, ghetto blasters, etc. Anything that's got an auxiliary input, this is going to work with. Or you can build it into your favorite headphones. Turn your favorite set of headphones into a Bluetooth-capable headset. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real soon.